Hola, and welcome to Kim at Home. The bathtub really, really needs cleaned, and those clothes have been sitting there for a week. <laughs> Somehow I got volunteered to wash them, so yeah, they've been sitting there for a week. <laughs> As you can see, we just jump right into the video. I'm actually about to clean the bathtub. I'm really trying to show you the layers of dust on my bathtub, but it's really hard to pick up on camera. So I'll start off by wiping it down with a paper towel so that you guys can see all of the dust. Take a drink of my I think I'm gonna stop buying aerosol cans of window cleaner because they seem to smear a lot. Check this out. Let me know if this happens to you down in the comments, please. Daily shower spray, Method Daily Shower Spray, and I have been loving it lately, and it smells so good. There's nothing like a clean bathtub or any place in your bathroom for that matter. <laughs> That's the only thing that I needed to do in my bathroom today. I always spread things out when I clean, like one day I'll clean out the shower, the next day I'll clean out the tub, then I'll clean out the mirrors, etc. You see how that goes. And this is the only way that I can keep up with things in my home. This also prevents me from cleaning on the weekend as far as like deep cleaning, because I really feel like you should be doing, you know, you on the weekend, <laughs> not be sitting around in the house and cleaning and it's getting warm outside. So, you know. You know it's really been wanting to try the super clean product on my air fryer. I'm attempting to clean off the grease of my insert for the air fryer. Let's see how that goes. One thing that you will want to do is cover your space because it will be messy. I'm allowing that to sit for a few minutes and I'm just gonna finish up doing what I was doing in the beginning, getting the dishes together and putting them away. If a paper crank can fly then really doesn't feel that far so this got the nerve to still be wet if a paper crank can fly pretty pretty gross i'm glad i use plastic smart move kim smart move since I already sprayed it, I'll show you what it looks like, but I'm also gonna wash it off with Dawn antibacterial dish soap. That is a tongue twister. Like, I can't be saying all that stuff. It's hard, I'm just saying. <laughs> um. Okay, it kinda looks the same, but I will tell you this. When you touch it, it doesn't feel greasy at all. So maybe it just took off the first coat of grease. I probably should have allowed it to set longer, but that's okay. It's not feeling greasy anymore. And that's basically what I needed. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm Kim with a Y, K Y M. And today is a video that I'm just gonna be doing random tasks around my home. I will also be sharing some meal ideas that are really, really quick and simple. My channel consists of all things home. So on your way out, please do not forget to hit subscribe and show the like button some love as well. For my meal today, I'm going to have some fig chicken. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Chicken with fig sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, I'm also going to have some Brussels sprouts and a big sweet potato. I don't measure anything, but as far as my seasonings, I'm going to use Lowry seasoning, salt, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. There's also a Spanish spice that I, my mom just bought for me. It's really, really good, but I don't know the name of it. I also added garlic to the fig sauce, but I'm not really sure where that footage is. <laughs>
Here's what the meal looks like, and you know I only eat on fine china. This meal was fire, okay? It was quick, simple, and easy to prepare, and those are the types of meals that I love. Decorating for spring this year. I don't know why. As of today, it might change tomorrow, but as of today, it is what it is. I cannot fake it till I make it. I just can't. All of the items in this pile are from last year, with an exception of this right here. I got it from Marshalls for $7.99. And I also got this really cool candle. This one was $9.99. It smells so good. And I think it's cute. And I got this from my bathroom. $6.99, it's hand cream. This was $3.99. I think that's really pretty, so I'm gonna put that in my half bath. This cute little truck was $1.99. So I'm gonna put some um, eggs in the truck. I think that will be cute, but other than that, I really don't think I'm changing anything up. I normally change my pillows, but I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna use to wipe off. Before you decorate, it's always a great idea to wipe off. Sweet and simple. I just switched it up and I put the pink out with the silver. The smell of the candle is Caria approved. Here's a quick view of some of the items that I changed around. And I'm trying to step up my organization game, so I got this book off of Amazon. I think that's really cute. Okay, I removed the pink candle from there because I just didn't think it looked right, so I just put my little um, sponge there. So I'm liking how this yellow is looking in here. It makes me want to change up the bathroom and add some yellow somewhere. I like that though. These are pretty. I had to take the um, price tags off. I don't know why they put the price tags on the side versus the bottom. I've, I'll never understand that, but anyway. Here's a quick view of the items that I switched around in my kitchen. I really, really love that rabbit. It's so cute. Did you burn your nose? No, because I blew because I blew on it and then I think it. I got a box for Christmas that is called Self Care in a Box. Make yourself a priority. So there's some little inserts that I would like to read to you. Be aware of what is worth your energy and listen to how you speak to yourself in your head. Use kind words. That one right there really, really resonated with me. And it's true. We really do need to be kind of to ourselves. We need to show ourselves some compassion as we show others. And we need to be aware of what is worth our energy. So if it's a bad situation that's toxic, it's something that you may wanna walk away from. I'm learning this and I'm in the process of doing this myself. For your homework, I would like for you to write three things down that you appreciate about yourself and then share it in the comments. The ultimate goal is for all of us to be healed mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, but you have to start. There's things that you have to do. You've got a lot of work. <laughs> and the first step is just appreciating yourself. I still need to fluff this reef pretty good because I didn't do a very good job, but also I moved my plant, Char Fresh, right next to the door and the plant loves being there. Look at this right here. Who just leaves this in the hallway? Like, I'm not understanding what's going on. <laughs> Thank you. 
For this meal, the only thing that I'm gonna make is meat because I have leftover Brussels sprouts and a baked sweet potato. This was the very next day. And here are the seasonings that I will be using. This is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. I reheated the Brussels sprouts from yesterday and also the sweet potato from yesterday. And this is my Philly cheesesteak. There is no bread though. So I have cheese on there and onions and banana peppers. It's really, really, really good. You know I only eat on fine china. What do you guys use in your dishwasher as far as the detergent? Leave a comment down below and let me know. I really like this finish. It works quite well. I love making easy meals like this, especially when you just have to make meat because you have sides from like, you know, the day before. So the only thing I need to do is wash the actual pan that I made it in. Everything else went into the dishwasher and it was just like spoons in a couple bowls. Don't forget to wash the handles on your pan. And also after you clean out your sink, just dry it out to conserve the life. Yes, I say it in every video, but you know, there are new people here and they may not know that. <laughs> I know it doesn't even matter. I'm so glad that you spent some of your day with me. I appreciate you being here so much. You just don't even understand. Like I really, really appreciate all of your kind words. Even the words that are rude, I appreciate that too because at least you watched the video. <laughs> I hope all of you are in good health, are in a good mental space and have a great week. Don't forget to take some time for you to make you a better person. You deserve it because you are worthy. Thank you again for being here. Bye guys. <laughs>